joined by Bobby Van Allen, head coach of the Johns Hopkins women's cross country team. Uh, so Bobby lost a few big names from a season ago, but uh, what have you seen from some of the returners now that they might be upperclassmen uh, that you know you've really enjoyed seeing? Yeah, I think we, we've quickly been able to show that we've got a lot of depth this year, which has kind of been the backbone of our women's team for the last decade plus. Um, but to have Tria Roy come back in as a grad student, just really kind of like pick off from her development over the last years has certainly led that way. But then it is just so many other like upperclassmen now kind of getting into like that leadership role that have led the way for a very talented freshman class as well. So you mentioned Tria Roy, a uh, grad student. You have another grad uh, transfer um, joining the team this year. So can you just talk about uh, Emma and her expectations for the team? Sure. So Emma Putz coming from Missouri S and T. Uh, she's, I mean, just immediately like come in here and right been with the, our top girls. Um, so been exciting to have her experience. Um, you know, hopefully we get Phoebe White from UPenn also like you know healthy and running again. So uh, she can be a big impact player for us as well. So that just might be happening uh, as we see kind of towards the second half of our season. Yeah, and you mentioned the freshmen briefly and the depth as well, but can you just kind of go a little bit further into uh, what you've seen from some of the younger, um, younger runners so far this year? Yeah, well, they're just feeding off each other. Um, and I think part of that was really easy transition, especially for Elena Blodnikar and Carter Brotherton. Um, they were a high school rivals from the same county um, here in Maryland. Um, so for them to kind of now been able to kind of be teammates together and watch them feed each other off. But to have Sydney Shaw come in here and like, I mean, we got nine freshman women here, all of them just kind of really like joining well um, and right up there with our top women. And we've kind of put them in that position and they're just like taking it and running with it and certainly thriving early here in the season. Yeah, and you got one uh, one race definitely circled on the calendar this year. You headed back to uh, Terre Haute, Indiana, uh, where you won your first national championship in 2012. So can you just kind of talk about the impact of heading back to where kind of the, uh, it all started? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Terre Haute's certainly a memorable place. And, uh, you know, before we went back there in 2000, before we went there in 2012, never knew that what was about to happen was to win eight titles. So, um we were supposed to be back there in 2020. That was our COVID year that got canceled. So we had to wait four more years for this, which just has really kind of built it up even that much more for us. So we'll be there on September 21st as part of Indiana State's John McNichols Invitational. Um, we'll see about four or five of the top D3 programs there, as well as a whole slew of other top Division I programs. So excited to just get back on that Laverne Gibson cross country course in Terre Haute and uh, you know, set things up for when we're back there in November as well. Yeah, perfect. And last question, just like the men, uh, similarly, the women um, will have to make a jump to 6K for some of the newcomers. Um, so what are just kind of like your, your goals for the first meet for a lot of this, for a lot of your runners, but also the first meet back in the 2024 season for your runners? Yeah, it's a little easier on the women's side just because going from 5K to 6K is a much smaller jump than the guys going 5K to 8K. Um, but again, again, it's for us to just kind of work on us, the things that we need to do as a team that's still so early in our training that um, we're not going to get after this uh, anything crazy in this first meet. We're just going to, again, like really prep ourselves of what we need to do on meet days, certain things that we want to always be accomplishing within any race that we're going to work on here just in a smaller scale. So excited to kind of kick this season off and get things rolling.